No one like you, Jesus. No one like you. There's no one like you, Master. No one like you. There's no one like you, is it? No one like you, Master. You're the God of everything. No one like you. There's no one like you, Jesus. No one like you. There's no one like you, Savior, no one like you. There's no one like you, I'm my own, no one like you. Father, we thank you. 
the Alpha, the Omega, the King of Glory, the Almighty Jehovah, the I am that I am. Take all the glory, adoration, praises, and honor in the name of Jesus. Father, we pray, mighty God, that you give us the unction, the function in your presence, God. We can't do without you because you are indispensable in our lives. And at the end, you take all the glory, God. We return your glory unto you. We honor you, my God. Father, may your blessings be unto your people. As many that are in this auditorium and as many that are worshiping online, Father, let your blessing locate every family in the name of Jesus Christ. Mighty God, we thank you because you are here with us. Let all the powers of the enemies be seized forever in the name of Jesus. Anything that you have not planted must surely be uprooted. Let the powers of the evil ones, every power that walk against the word of, the word of God, be destroyed completely in the name of Jesus. Let all the words the enemy has spoken never stand in our lives. Let all the accounts be turned into foolishness because you are with us. Let them guide the ruins and the regions of the seas. They are broken in pieces because he that is in us is greater than he that is in the world. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, let everyone say, I said, let everyone say, I said, let everyone say, can somebody make a joyful noise in the presence of the Elohim? I said, can we make a joyful noise wherever you are? I just want you to remember the goodness of God and make a joyful noise in the presence of God. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. I want us to worship God and give him praise before we go into the word of God. This night, nobody will go remaining the same. And every family, they, I say that the power of God has no barrier. So just wait for it wherever you are. You will see the power of God in your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. Demons tremble at your presence. What a mighty God who serves. Glory, glory, hallelujah. Everything written about you is great. Oh, 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 oh. demons tremble at your presence, God. Oh, what a mighty God we serve. Oh, yes, yes. Glory, glory, hallelujah. Everything written about you. Say, demons tremble at your presence. Demons tremble at presence, what a mighty God we serve, what a mighty God we serve, glory, glory, hallelujah, glory, glory, hallelujah, oh, everything we take, everything we take about I'm 
gate of peace, as old as you are, as old as you are, you will never change. Ancient of peace, as old as you are, as old as you are, you will never change. Ancient of days, ancient of days, oh, oh, as old as you are, as old as you are, you will never change. Ancient of days, as old as you are, hey, as old as you are, you will never change. some fasting for the past 15 days we started sometime two Fridays ago and we are running up, we are running it up this Friday the 31st so I want to thank those that are here in the presence of God and those that are listening and those that are worshiping with us praise God we have been talking about power of restoration. And we call the prayers we have been doing since that time up to now, we said that this is a systematic prayers. Because like I said, the first time we started that, if you come to Canada, you see that Canada is reopening systematically one stage to the other. So Canada reopens systematically. So that means Canada is being restored systematically. I don't know about other places, but I'm talking about Canada because I am just in Canada. So Canada is reopening systematically. And I told you that God, when God wants to heal you, when God wants to restore you, God can restore you systematically. Praise God. Why I know that is this. God says, and I will go before you, and I will make the crooked way straight. So the time he goes before you to make the crooked way straight, that is the time he has started restoration in your life. Amen. Praise God. And some people can be restored in the twinkling of an eye. It depends on how God wants to restore you. So we say we are going to pray systematically. And the systematic prayers we have been praying, we got the memory verse from 2 Chronicles chapter 7, verse 14. We mention it every day. When God says, if my people who are called by my name, and you are called by the name of Jehovah, praise God, Everyone here is a child of God. And you came into this place or you are worshipping with us online because of the faith that you have in him. So you are called by the name of God. So we said, yes, we are called by the name of God. So let us see systematically how God says that we could be restored. And God says, if my people who are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn away from their wicked ways then 
will I hear from heaven and I will forgive their sins and I will heal the land. So we find out that the systematic way that God wants to heal the land, one is humility. That he, one, you got to be his person. You got to call by the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Once you accept Jesus Christ, you are called a Christian because he's father like father like son. Praise God. So if you are called a Christian and you are someone that loves God, it means you are called by the name of God. And he said, my people who are called by my name may humble themselves. And we say now, you can remove the humility and put what? Put fasting. So fasting is all about humility. And that is why I told people that you don't have to wait for anyone to give you fasting before you do fasting. From time to time, you and your family will take off fasting because fasting is abstinence. That you want to abstain from food or from whatever that makes you pleasurable. You just want to abstain from it for the sake of God. Praise God. And that is fasting. Whatever you abstain from, that you are fasting. So, if you want to show God that God, I love you and I respect you deeply. You are the one that I deeply respect. And you say, I can forget about that McDonald's that I always eat that makes me happy. I'm not going to eat it for this couple of days that I'm going to pray. That is humility. If you are a husband and wife, you say, from now, we are going to stay apart just to tell God that you are number one in each of every one of us. We can do without anything, but we cannot do without you. That is what? That is fasting. This is abstinence. Praise God. And if, like the Bible says, Daniel, right from the, right from the first day you humbled yourself, which means the Bible is calling the fasting of Daniel humility. He said, you humbled yourself and God answered your prayers. Which means that God answers prayers through humility. Praise God. And that humility is what? Fasting. So whenever you are fasting, you are telling God you are number one. It doesn't mean that when you are fast, fasting, you kill yourself. No. But you want to tell God that I can forgo. I can leave everything in this world, but I cannot leave you. And God say, yes, my son, you have done well. God loves what? Humility. And now the Bible says, may do what? May humble themselves, which is fasting. You go into fasting. May humble themselves and pray. It's not all about hunger strike. It's all about what? Prayers. Because some people may be fasting and they can't pray. It becomes a hunger strike. Some people may be fasting. They continue sleeping and sleeping and sleeping. You are getting rest. You are getting some rest. Praise God. So if you are doing fasting, you got to pray. That's what the Bible says. May humble themselves and pray. And the third one, the Bible says, and seek my face. Which means seeking the face of God is different from praying. When you are seeking the face of God, the Bible says, Blessed are those that are pure in heart, for they shall see God. So for you to seek the face of God is that you want to see the face of God. And for you to see the face of God, you got to be pure in heart. And that is why the Bible now tells us that may do what? Forgo their sins. He said, humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn away. Turn away from their wicked ways. Because you cannot see the face of God with your wicked way. So when you want God to restore your life, it's like you are seeking the face of God. Because when you see the face of God, the face of God will shine upon you. And if you want the face of God to shine upon you, you got to come to God with humility, that is with fasting, and you have to seek his face from the bottom of your heart, and you have to show it by action, by forsaking your sins. Praise God. He said, I'm turning away from their wicked ways. And I began to tell people that sometimes we pray, let the wicked man die. And we think that the only one that is wicked is that witch. 
It's not that only that which that is the wicked. When we lie, it's wickedness. When we do certain things it's we, that are not to the glory of God, because God has a pure eye that he cannot behold sin. So whenever we do something that is contrary to the will of God, that means what? Wickedness. So the Bible says we got to leave all those things that we are doing that are not to the glory of God. And the Bible says, then he will hear. His ears will now be opened. Because he says, my hand is not short to help you. Neither are my ears heavy to hear your cry or your prayers. But what has brought a demarcation is sin. The sin does not allow me to hear. Because my ear is pure that he cannot hear about sin. Praise God. That is why he tells the people of Israel, he said, tell them to be holy because I, God, I am holy. I thank God for Jesus Christ. Honestly, without that, we can't stand here today. So the Bible said, turn away from the wicked ways. Then will I hear from heaven, which means what will open the ears of God to hear is when you have changed from the wicked ways. God says, now my ears will be attentive. To hear your cry. And then he says, then hear from heaven and they will forgive their sin. Which means that something got to be done. The sins have to be pushed away. That he will now forgive our sins. Remember the Bible said that he that confess and forsake will obtain mercy. That is the principle of obtaining mercy. The principle is not confessing every minute of the day. But the principle is obtaining mercy. And that's why God said that if we can forsake our wicked ways, then he will hear from heaven. And now he will forgive our sins. There will be no more barrier to stop him from restoring us. Praise God. And we have been following, we did humility, that is fasting. We took about three, four days about fasting. We took about three days about prayers. And we took about two days for turning away from wicked ways. Talking about sin. Telling people that sin can stop our blessings. Praise God. Sin can stop someone from receiving from God. We took two days to talk about the consequences of sin. And we went through the Bible to let people know that sin can make somebody not to receive from God. Because the enemy, that is the food of the enemy. If you want to feed the enemy, if you want to feed Satan, just go, on, go ahead and continue to sin. You are feeding Satan, making him fat. Praise God. And you think that you now can associate with God who does not behold sin? No. And he said that if you can leave these things, I know now that nothing stops me from restoring you. So that's why we took time to study about all these things. And today we said we are going to round it off. Praise God. So today I want to talk this something about the power of restoration for day 15. That is today, the rounding off. And we say, God says, my mercy is greater than your mistakes. Praise God. I just want you to tell somebody that my mercy is greater than your mistakes. Praise God. Anywhere you are, just this is the word of God. His mercy is greater than your what? Mistakes. God is God, a merciful God. And the Bible says his mercy endured forever. He is a compassionate God. If you come to God, he forgives you. If you come to God with sincere heart, God will forgive you. Praise God. The Bible says that do not be deceived. God is not mocked. Whatever a man sows, he shall reap. That will tell you that sin can stop someone from receiving from God. But once you do away with it, now you become a friend of God. Praise God. So God being a merciful God would then wipe away your sins. Because he says that even if your sins are as black as charcoal, that he will make it as whiter than snow. This is God for you. 
to tell you whom he is. Look at the love of God towards you and I. Because we sin against him. And he still wants to reconcile it because he's a merciful God. That's why he had to offer his son Jesus Christ to die because of you and I. And it is because of that today that we are standing here. That's why I say that I thank God for Jesus Christ. So he is a merciful God. And I told people yesterday that I was preaching about the consequences of sin. I said there is still time for you to change. Everyone breathing. For you to breathe in and out up to now. There is still time for somebody to change. Praise God. Because the blood of Jesus is available for you and I. Is the Bible says there is an advocate. I did not tell you all this thing to sin against God. But in case you sin against him, the Bible says, remember, there is an advocate. So the advocate is greater than that sin. All he is waiting for is you have to confess and say, I'm not going to go into it anymore. Praise God. There are some sins that we call besetting sin. Besetting sin are sins that we do not even know when we commit those sins. Sometimes it's little lies. Some people may call it lego lego lies. Sometimes it is little lies that we say this is just a white lie, just a kind of lie that I want to use it just to, just to get what I want. Praise God. They ask a little a little boy. Say, can you define lie? He said, lie is the language that you use when you are in a tight corner. Praise God. But lies are not the language that you use when you are in a tight corner. Lie is what sin. It's just like I, like I said yesterday, the main sin people see is fornication and adultery. And I tell you that those sins are dangerous also. They are, you can't go and do them. But that's the main sin people see. But the Bible says that the liars, all liars, all drunkards, praise God, they will not see the kingdom of God. See, which means that that thing that you think that is a small thing and you do it every time, it becomes a besetting sin. It becomes a sin that the enemy sees in you. Anytime there is blessing coming to you in the spirit realm, the enemy will just stop that blessing and he will begin to accuse you in the presence of God and begin to tell God, you said you want to restore him, but you say that you will honor those that honor you. You will say that, come return to me, I will return to you. But he has not returned to you. And you want to give him blessing? No. You can't give him blessing. Remember, you are a righteous God. So the enemy begins to accuse us. And that is why God says, you know what? All you have to do is to, I don't want the accuser because I am a God of justice. I don't want the accuser to accuse you. I want to restore you. But you've got to play your own part. Your own part is that you gotta be humble and you seek my face and turn away from your wicked ways and continue in your prayers. He said, I must surely forgive you your sins. That is to tell you that he is greater than your sin. No matter the kind of sin that you sin, once you confess and tell God, I will not go back to that sin, you will obtain mercy. So that is why I'm saying today that the Bible, that God says that his mercy is greater than your mistakes. I don't know the mistakes that you think that those mistakes are going to stop your blessings. But I want to tell you that if you have followed these principles of humility, principles of prayers, principles of seeking the face of God and turning away from your wicked ways, I am telling you that God is listening to you. His ears are very much attentive to do your heart desire. Praise God. So I want to tell you that if we have done that, there is a way out for you. Because when God, say, when God forgives you, he says that I will remember no more. That is God for you. So all he is waiting for us is to come to him and say, Daddy, we are so sorry. We do not want to go back there. He knows whatever we are struggling here. Jesus was here on earth. That is why he seated at the right hand of God, so he's sitting for us. The Bible says he has never stopped praying. He is still praying for you and I. That is to tell you that you have the advocate in heaven who is speaking 24 hours on your behalf. So you have every opportunity to say, God, I have done with these things. I don't want to continue with these things because I want restoration. And I want to tell if you do that, 
wait for your restoration. It must surely come because God does not lie. He is not a man. When God says it must be established because no iota of the word of God shall return void. Praise God. Because I know that God is a merciful God. And once he has promised, he says that turn away from the wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven and that will forgive your sins. He cannot lie to you. So all he's waiting, if you have not, it's high time that you just you bend down your head and talk to him. You can talk to him even as I'm even as I'm talking. You can still talk to God and say, God, I want you to have mercy. I'm not going into this anymore. Praise God. And you will see the power of God in your life tonight. You will see the power of God in your family, in your heart desire. There are no two ways about it because I know who my son. He is a merciful God and he cannot lie because he is not like us. Praise God. Sometimes we can lie and go to him and say, we forgive us. We can lie again. Forgive us through the blood. He will forgive us immediately. But he himself is not a man that everything that he says must surely come to pass. He is not a man that he will not do what he has said. I would want us to go to the Bible. Let us go to Lamentation chapter 3 verse 22 to 24. Lamentation, the book of Lamentation chapter 3. Yes, the Bible said it is of lost mercy that we are not consumed praise God it is of his mercy it is not because you are so smart that nobody sees your sin or sees my sin then I think I am very smart no the Bible says it is his mercy that he and I that we are not consumed because he his compassion faileth not. Praise God. That's why I tell you that the mercy of God is greater than your mistakes. You see, his compassion will never fail you. When you go to God in prayers and, for, and confess your sins and forsake your sins, you must see the compassion of God upon your life. I don't know if somebody is getting what I'm saying tonight. Praise God. Let's continue. 23, 23 says they are new every morning. That is to tell you that they are being renewed every day. So that they will not say that yesterday God was merciful. Today God is no longer merciful. He, no. It's renewed every morning. That is why the, the Bible said that his faithfulness is renewed every morning. His faithfulness is new in your life every day. So that is to tell you that when you come to God, he will just wash you through the blood of Jesus Christ. And now he will restore you. Restoration is his promises, but it has conditions of restoration. Praise God. That is why I want everyone to be restored. I want everyone to go home. Jubilating tonight. Because this is the conclusion of the prayers. And I know God has been doing so many great things since we've been coming here. And today, I know that many people, the hand of God is extended. Praise God. Praise God. I just want you to look at somebody, wherever the person is, at a distance. You tell the person, God has remembered you tonight. Praise God. God has remembered you tonight. Be happy. Praise God. So let's go to 24 of Lamentation chapter 3. Verse 24 says, He said, The Lord is my portion, said my soul, therefore will I hope in him. That is why we hope in God. He is our portion. Where can we go? This time that there is corona, I don't know where to run to. Praise God. I run to my doctor. My doctor said, no, 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 I don't want somebody to see me. I run to the nurses. He said, I don't want, the nurses are running for their lives. Praise God. I run to my friends. He said, you are not invited because there is corona. I run to everywhere. Nobody wants to even see me anymore. Praise God. The, the, the government said, give them two meters. But some people gave me more than 20,000 meters because you can't even see them in your eyes anymore. 
that will tell you that there is no one that can help you except God. And that is the reason why we got to follow him. Because in him there is restoration and in him there is life. Praise God. There is no one. This time of Corona has shown you and I that, let me tell you, that nobody is indispensable except God. So when I run helter scatter, nobody wants to receive me. I run into the house of God, and He has been with me forever and ever. Amen. Praise God. There's no other one. So that is why this that's why the lamentation says, The Lord is my portion, said my soul. Therefore will I hope in him. And I want you to hope in God tonight. Your life will never remain the same. And wherever you are, the power of God is, there is no resistance to the power of God. The anointing of God can reach you wherever you are. Praise God. Praise God. I would want us also to go to the Bible. Let's, let's go to Jewel. Jewel chapter 2 verse 25. We started with this. With this quotation in Joel chapter 2 verse 25 to 32. But I just want to express it more. For you to understand and give you the hope. Because how you, we can receive from God. Is when you open yourself. Have faith in him. Praise God. Since I took time began to study about when God says that he that comes to me should believe that I am. I took time to study it day and night. And I begin to seek God. So I have to know, believe that you are, that nobody else except you. And that makes you happy. And that raises your hand to do something in our lives. Praise God. So the Bible says, and I will restore to you the years that the locusts had eaten the canker worm and the caterpillar and the palmer worm, my great army, which I sent among you. And this, I always tell people, whenever I read this, I say you have to mark that word. You can underline that word in your Bible. God says, my great word army. Look at the canker worms and the caterpillars and the palmer worms and the moth and the locusts. God said these are my armies. Which means that he can stop them and they stop. Praise God. Which means that on, only what he asked them to do, that is what they can do. They can act without God allowing them. And when I was teaching this, I told you that there is no suffering that you go through that God does not know about it. He don't know when it is discussed in the spirit realm. He don't know when God says, let me use this to test him. Let me use this to say, to see what, how he is going to behave because he said that he loves me. He don't know what goes on, but all you know, when what you see could be affliction. And the Bible says that affliction, you got to take care of it through talking to God. That is why he says in James 5 13, he says the prescription for affliction is prayers, which means God knows about it. And you got you have to go to God to discuss about your affliction. And then he will stretch his hands and tell his armies to stop afflicting you. Praise God. Are, are you with me? Praise God. He will tell his armies, stop afflicting this man. They can't afflict him anymore. Anything that comes to you, anything that happens to you, any situation, God knows about it. And he is the one that allowed it. And many times he allows that for a reason. So God says, the canker worms and the caterpillars and the palmer worms, my great army. These are the armies he uses to teach people lessons. Let me tell you, Satan is army of God. If you don't know, praise God. Praise God. Because he can't do contrary to what God wants him to do. Have you seen someone that Satan will be fighting and fighting and fighting a child of God? And you 
continue talking to God because Satan will be afflicting you. And the Bible says that is there any of you that is afflicted? Let him pray. And you go to God and begin to talk to God. And now God said, you have to turn away from your wicked ways. You got to be humble. Come back to me and I will return to you. And you do all those things. Do you know what he, he says? Satan, you have no authority over my child anymore. And Satan will tell all his agents. He said, please, the master of all says he's interested in this case. Praise God. That, is, that means that confessing our sins are very important and to be humble before God. So the Bible says in 26, 26, it says, and you shall eat in plenty. Remember 25 says, I will restore. Can he say that without doing it? Is God a liar? Praise God. He is not a liar. He says, I will restore. God did not say, I am going to restore if I can. No. He says, I will restore. Like the man that had leprosy. He came to Jesus Christ because everybody, no one wants to touch anyone that has leprosy. Leprosy is like coronavirus. Praise God. No one wants to talk, touch anyone that has leprosy in those days. But this man went to Jesus. He said, Master, you can hear me. If you, if you want to hear me, you can hear me. Jesus said, yes, I want to hear him. Before the man finished, Jesus touched him. Praise God. That will tell you the mind of God concerning you. And that is why the enemy is annoyed. When the Bible says, who is man? That God is mindful of him. Who are you? Who am I? That the almighty God is interested in me. That is interested in you. So he is a compassionate God. He says, I will restore. I will restore. Can we see that 25 again? God says, I will restore. I will. I don't know if it is in your Bible. The God says, I may restore. Praise God. Did he say, I may? <laughs> this is authority talking. The authority in heaven and on earth. The one that can change every situation and he remains unchanged. The one that stretched the heaven by himself. Look at the heaven without a pillar. That was what he was asking Job. When Job was complaining, he said, Job, don't you know I know about your case? When I was stretched in the heaven, were you there? Praise God. He is God that made himself God alone. And only him is God. When he says, I will restore, that will tell you that it's a serious case. So I want to, to be in your heart now that God, it is his will to restore you. Praise God. This amen is so economical. I said this amen is so economical. Amen. Praise God. God says, I will restore you. God is not a man. When he declared his word, he said that the heaven and the earth can burn away. Instead, his word will never come to fulfillment. This is the one talking. He said, I will restore you, my son. Everyone sitting down here, God says, I will restore you. Praise God. He said, those years, which means it's not all about bringing back Bringing back what the enemy has taken. It's all about, he said, those years. Which means he's going to make it up. Do you know what is making up? What is making up is what we call restitution. Restitution, remember the Bible says that anyone that is found that, are, that, that stole somebody's item, that the person should make what? Restitution. And restitution means that you have to pay back that item and then you have to add something on top of it. So that is restitution. It's different from restoration. That is what God is telling us here. When God says that I will restore, the, I will restore the years. Which means I'm going to make it up for you. And that means he's going to come back to you with more things in your life. 
If you read about Job, you will, you will see that God restored Job more than Job was before. He restored him seven times of what Job had before. Praise God. So let's go ahead. And he says, and shall eat in plenty. That is why Jesus says, I have come to give you life and give it to you more abundantly. God says, you shall eat in plenty. It, is, it doesn't mean that you will not eat the way you used to eat before. But you are going to eat extra. You are going to see extra food on your plate. Which means I'm going to give you all that you lost. And I'm going to make it up for you. By giving you plenty. That's what the Bible says. And you shall eat in plenty. And be satisfied. And then you will praise the name of the Lord your God. Praise God. Which means something that he is going to do in your life is going to blow your mind. He's going to make you begin to raise your hand and begin to say, God, I didn't know you would bless me this way. Praise God. I don't know if you know that, that, that song that says, I didn't know he will favor. I didn't know he will favor me this way. Yeah, yeah. I didn't know he will favor me this way. Favor me this way. Thank you, Jesus. That is what the Bible is saying. That you shall eat plenty and be satisfied. And you begin to sing this song. I didn't know you were going to restore me this way. Not only restoring me. You have given me more that I can chew. Praise God. Which means that God will make you a blessing to others. Which means that God is not only going to make you a blessing when you are made a blessing. Which means God gave you something that you can eat with your family and that's okay. But when God says that you are going to eat plenty, you are going to praise him because you are going to be satisfied. Which means he is going to beautify you with the blessings that will make you to be a blessing to people. Praise God. And that is why Jabez said, I do not want to continue with my name Jabez. I know that Satan has taken a lot from me. But I want to be blessed so that I can bless others. And he knows that is the will of God. The Bible says we pray, we do not receive because we ask amiss. Jabez knows that God wants to restore someone. And you begin to be restoring somebody else. That you begin to become a blessing to someone someone praise god because that is the will of god that when he blesses you and you bless somebody that is why he says and that i am the lord your god none else you see what god says he said, there is no one can give you that except me there is no one i told people last time that you can go and ask somebody can you lend me one thousand dollars and when he gives you one thousand dollars if you turn your back he begins to despise you Praise God. When you ask somebody, give me, lend me. When you, the next day he said, can you pay back? If you ask your wife, even your wife, and said, lend me, please, I need $1,000. The next one, if he comes back from work, he will, that 1000 <laughs> Is it available? Praise God. This is your own wife. Praise God. Praise God. You know, if you come to a family, the money of a wife is for, is for her. And to buy something for the children. But the money of the man is for the entire family. Praise God. That you tell is only God. That when he gives to you, all he's expecting go and be a blessing to people. God, are we in order? Praise God, are we in agreement? Praise God. I want us to continue with that. Let's continue. Let's go to 26. I just want to round it off to download what I have. Let's, let's round it off. 27, 27 says, And you shall know that I am the Lord. I am in the midst of Israel. Praise God. That's why in the name of God is I am what I am. Pharaoh says, I do not know your God. What's in his name? I know the sun. I know the moon. I know their names. They this, they this. All the magical names. He mentioned them. But I do not know this your God. 
He said, I am. His name is I am what I am. Praise God. And the Bible says, and ye shall know that I am in the midst of Israel. And that I am the Lord your God. When God finishes with you. When God finishes with you. When you follow the principles of God. I am telling you. Your mind will be as safe it wants to blow. Praise God. And he said, and none else. And my people shall never be ashamed. God will never allow you to be put to shame. Oh my God. I don't know if there is anybody here that thinks that the enemy wants to put me to shame. I want you to put your trust in God. Because God will never allow you to be put to shame. Because he is your God. Praise God. The reason for the restoration. He doesn't want you to be put to shame. He doesn't want your family to be put to shame. And when he finishes with you, you will know that he is what he is. Now 20, 20, 28 says, And it shall come to pass afterward that I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh, and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. Your old men shall dream dreams, while the young, your young men shall see visions. That will tell you that God is in charge. He can change situation at a time. Praise God. He said, I send my word, and my word healed your disease. Which means God can send his word. And his word will restore someone. His word will heal diseases. Oh my God. Somebody doesn't understand what I'm saying. Yes. Because he says I will pour out my spirit. Which means everything belongs to him. He can pour out his spirit. And he changes the atmosphere. He changes the atmosphere in your place. In your family. In your workplace. When God pours out his word. His word will change everything in your life and that is what he is telling you praise God and I will show wonders I will show wonders he begins to show wonders I tell somebody today that God is going to show wonders if you follow this principle God is going to show wonders he said and I will show wonders in the heavens and in the earth and blood and fire and pillars of smoke he's going to show you that he is God and everything belongs to him praise God Praise God. I know somebody might be saying that it's a loss of destiny. You have loss of destiny. It's restored. Praise God. Somebody may say, my ability, I can't carry out my ability. But I want to tell you that God has promised to restore your ability. Whatever you think that the enemy has stolen, God is bigger than whatever that is stolen from you. It's him that allowed that to happen. And it's him that will bring it back and give you more. Praise God. Sometimes we might be thinking that we are swimming in depths. I want to tell you that God is here to restore you. Praise God. You know that if you're in Canada, sometimes you, can't, you receive a kind of cause. Praise God. Some kinds of calls that every time, even in the night, you're eating, they call you. You're bathing, they call you. Before you come, you see missed calls. Call me back. Somebody might be swimming in debts. But I want to tell you that God can restore you. Oh my God. I want your faith. I want you to have faith in God. Anyone that has come here tonight, I just want you. You do not want thing I want to tell you. Don't sin against God. Do you know what I mean by don't sin against God? Unbelief is sin. Praise God. Unbelief is sin. When you do not believe that God is going to do great things in your life, he has already started. He, God had started already. I'm telling you the truth. People are restored spiritually. The reason why I'm here today, I want us to call it that restoration that is made in the spirit realm. The reason why we are here to, tonight is to call it down. Praise God. Because Elijah says to the king, he says, I hear the sound of abundant rain. The rain that has never come. After three and a half years, 
He says, as a man of spirit, he says, I hear the sound of abundant rain. And he told Ahab, go and eat and drink and go home. Stay in your house. Because that is something that is happening in the spirit realm. And what did he do? He fall on the ground and began to call it down. Praise God. That is what we are doing. As for restoration, restoration is still sounding. There are trumpets of restoration in the spirit realm. We are here today to call it down. Praise God. And I want to tell you that if your faith, your faith will call it down from the spirit. And you begin to see it physically. You will see that you, your life will change. There will be a turn around in your life for good. Because the Bible says that God... He turned the captivity of Job. I don't know who is in captivity. I don't know whom the enemy has messed up. I don't know whom the enemy has stolen his health. I don't know whom the enemy has stolen his wealth. But I want to tell you today that God is alive and he has promised that he will restore and he is not a man. Only open yourself and begin to receive from the almighty God. Oh, Makola, Hayabala, Balabo. Can somebody give praise unto God oh yeah 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 I say can somebody give praise unto the king of glory God said if I finish with you you will begin to praise me if I finish with you you begin to say you are a wonderful God and he said I'm going to do wonders hey, yeah, 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 yeah. let's get seated for one minute praise God Praise God. When, since I, I, I don't even know God. Praise God. I'm just trying to know God. Every day I cry unto God. I want to know you. Look at Paul. Paul was crying. He said, I want to know you. Paul had anointing. That is dangerous anointing. But at the same time, he said, I want to know you. I want us to know God. You know, when I see people being afraid, I began to check and say, in churches of God, how many times have we heard that there is corona in church? I began to check and check. I said, people think that this God, that he does not know anything. But God is all knowledge. Praise God. I began to teach and think how many people are afflict, afflicted in the church. Oh, you'll be hearing where they go to do today. Praise God. One thing or the other. But in the church, God covers his people. That makes me to know that he that dwelleth in the sacred place of the most high God shall abide under the shadow of the almighty. He is God the Almighty. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey. If you understand whom God is a little bit, I'm telling you, you will not, you have nothing to be afraid of. In as much as you have to observe what they say we should observe here, you will have nothing to be afraid of because your life is in the hand of He that is in control of heaven and earth. Oh my God, I want you to understand it. Your life is not in the hand of any man. Your destiny is not in the hand of anyone. But it's in the hand of the most high God. All he wants you to be humble and pray and turn away from your wicked ways. You will see his goodness upon your life. Can we see Jeremiah? Can we see Jeremiah? It's like my time is almost done. When I want to download certain things. Praise God. Can we see Jeremiah chapter 30 verse 17? This will blow your mind. The Bible says, For I will restore health unto thee, and I will heal thee of thy wounds. Have you been wounded? Praise God. Some of us have been wounded. There are things I was trying to explain to someone the last time, what we call spiritual wound. Spiritual wound, something you never expected, maybe from someone or somebody you so much love, and he offends you, 
he, do, he does contrary. It might make you to have a spiritual wound. Praise God. Always tell people, spiritual wound, just like as I am now. I said, there is somebody in the church that I, I went and fornicate with that person. I will give that person spiritual wound and give the church spiritual wound. Praise God. So, is there anyone that is wounded? There are things we call spiritual wounds, and there are wounds that the enemy had inflicted in our lives. And God says, no matter the type of wound, no matter the type of thing that you have gone through that have brought you low in the spirit realm or that have brought your soul so low, God said, I will restore that. Is there anyone that is sick? God says, I will restore. Do you believe God? Yes. Praise God. I said, do you believe God? Yes. And he says, for I will restore health unto thee. But every time we are thinking that, mm, God, anyway, doctor said I should manage, I will be managing. But I want to tell you that it depends on your faith towards God. And last time I told somebody that every assignment or every problem has the amount of faith that will make that problem to go. Praise God. There are people that will be sick. They, they, they will take part. Uh, is it a, uh, what, is, what is it called? The Panadol, right? The Tylenol. And, uh, and after that, when it's, it's not going, they take extra strength. Praise God. Praise God. It's only God that does not need that. God says that I am the Lord God of all flesh. Is there anything too hard? Which means the same way he will heal you, the same way he heals any kind of sickness, is the same way he heals headache. There is no amount of pressure. And say, God, this is so difficult. Let me pressurize. You know, there are things who pray and pray and pray. It's not like that for God. Even he pronounces his word. His word is established. Even before he says it, in the spirit realm, it is established. It is concluded. Praise God. And God says, I will heal thy wound or thy wounds. Which means there are kinds of wounds. Like I told you. He said, I will heal your wounds. Have you been, has somebody rejected you? Maybe a friend or maybe a family friend or whoever the person is. Or, or, who, or a man or a woman. Maybe he has done something that made you to say, oh my God. Something that made you to be surprised and say, can this man do this? And that is what we call spiritual wound. And there are all kinds of wounds. And God said, I will heal thee of thy wounds. So I don't know the wound that is inside your heart tonight. Praise God. Am I talking to someone? I don't know the wound that is inside your heart. That somebody may have offended you. Say, I can't forgive until I revenge. That is a wound that is inside of you. But God says, I'm going to heal you of a wound. No matter the type of wound you are going through. It could be a wound of news that you heard that has put you off balance. You do not know what to do. It could be all kinds of wound. That's why he said wounds, said the Lord. Because they call thee an outcast. I don't know where you are being rejected and they think that you are not going to be anything again. Praise God. Some of them back home, they begin to count. Hey, it's about 10 years now you left. Your father's house is still how it is. Praise God. And now they will have written you off. And say it's almost 20 years he left. He has never done anything. God says that I am going to heal that wound. And I'm going to supply your heart desire. According to his riches through Christ Jesus. That's why the Bible says I will heal your wound. Say the Lord. Because they called thee an outcast. Saying this is Zion whom no man seeketh after. Do you think that you have been written off? Maybe that job you have been looking for. Anywhere you go, you submit your resume. And instead of looking into your resume, they put it by the side. Nobody looks at it. Praise God. Even before you know it, it is deleted from the system. Have you been written off? God said, I'm going to heal you. I'm going to restore you. If you believe God on what he says, let me tell you that restoration that is going on in the spirit realm, you are going to see it smelling in your life. Praise God. That abundant rain, you are going to see it 
in your life, you are going to receive the showers of blessings. It depends on how you take God. Praise God. I don't know how you take him. That is the word of God. He said, for I will restore thee on today. I will restore your health. When I was talking about prayers, I said one of the best ways to pray is by holding God by his word. Praise God. That's a secret for every Christian. Holding him by his word. Because he said, come, let us reason together. And the other one, he says, come and argue your case. Tell me why I should bless you. Praise God. And we know that his word, he says that his word must never return void. And he has said that he will heal my wound. He will heal me. Why should I not believe that the almighty God will heal me of every wound and will heal you of every wound and will bring restoration and restitution in your life? Praise God. Are you in agreement? That is the word of God. God is about to heal someone. There are people that maybe could be marriage, it could be something, it could be family problems that has battered you. But I want to tell you that God can bring you back. Praise God. There are people that maybe they have chronic health issues or terminal diseases. But I want to tell you, or maybe you have loved ones that have that. You are going to pray for them tonight also. Praise God. Because God will bless you so that you become a blessing to others. The Bible says, Job prayed for his friends. And God turned his captivity. And God restored him. So God is going to do marvelous things in your life. Is there anyone with maybe health issues? I want to tell you, just put your trust in the Lord. Is there anyone in financial crisis? There is something we call financial havoc. Or financial crisis. Financial crisis is a havoc. Praise God. There are people that have financial havoc. I was telling people last night, I said, don't, my people don't like to go to God now. Don't worry. The time that the government money will finish. <laughs> Praise God. And there could be a financial havoc. And they begin to go, God, where are you? Where are you when you are getting that government money? Praise God. It's a question of time. If you, anyone doesn't want to go to God, one day something will make you to jump to him and say, God, I need you. Praise God. Because there's no one that can restore you and I except the almighty God. There's no one that, that can solve all problems except the almighty God. Your friend cannot solve that problem. Your brother, your sister can solve that problem. Your mother, your father, they have extent that they can solve your problems. But the only one that no problem can challenge him, but he challenges every problem and solves every problem is the Jehovah Jireh. Praise God. Is the I am that I am. Is the king of glory. Is the almighty God. Oh my God. Yes. Can somebody rise up in the presence of God? I want us to rise up. Let us rise up. That is one place I want to tell you as we are rising up in the presence of God. I want us to go to Isaiah chapter 61 verse 7. That is something I want to tell you there. I, I'm just trying to make you to know that the reason why we have come here is a serious business. Praise God. Anything that involves God is a serious business. But sometimes people don't take it that way. But I see anything that involves God, I see it as a serious business. It's a business of blood, let me tell you. Praise God. Like Reverend, Reverend when he comes here, he will tell us that this is a business of blood. Because God gave his only begotten son and he shed his blood to purchase you. So that is, that's why he said that we, what we are dealing with here, gentlemen, is about blood. And blood covenant is a covenant that not, except God intervenes to break blood covenant. Praise God. Praise God. But God says he will heal every wound. So it does not matter the covenant today. As far as God is involved, every wound, every covenant that has been stopping you, that have been stopping people from seeing whom you are, 
that have been making people to reject you and to call you a non-entity. They are going to call you a celeb celebrity because of God. Praise God. When God finishes with somebody here, when you look at yourself, you will know that you begin to smell blessings. I tell somebody last time, I said, do you know that blessings have smell? Praise God. If you carry the smell of blessing, the aroma of blessing, anywhere you enter, the whole room begins to smell that. Have you seen somebody that enters into your house and everywhere the perfume, that perfume is so powerful? The moment the person enters, even if the person goes out, the room will be smelling. Praise God. Praise God. There was one perfume my wife used one day. Praise God. I went to his, I mean, I went to her room. She left for work. But then when I went there, the perfume was still there. I had to stay there for some time. Praise God. Praise God. Because I love that perfume. Praise God. I was smelling the perfume. That is how blessing, blessing can smell. When blessing begins to smell, praise God. When Abraham carries the blessings, Abraham was smelling blessings. That is why people sing that whatever I touch shall be blessed. Because Abraham is smelling blessings, blessings. And when he asked Lot, he said, Lot, look at the vegetation this side. And you, I want you to take that side. This side, there is no vegetation. But I am going to take that place. Because when I enter at the middle of that land, every place there begin to smell blessings of God. And you see the vegetation begin to sprout. Praise God. That is how blessed is and that is why i'm telling that when god finishes with you the blessings of god will be smelling in your life you go home you everywhere will be smelling blessings you enter somebody's shop tomorrow they call you back and say we want you to come even if you are not buying anything we are here to give you something praise god it happens it has happened to me before i said it here last time praise god i enter somebody somebody's uh Shop. Brad Tesman knows the person because I met you there one day. The person that sells computer parts or something like that. Praise God. It's from Syria. I went to the shop and I just purchased something and left. When I came back next time, that's how, that was how I became friendly with him. He came here one day, was playing, was playing the piano. He told me he can play piano any kind. Praise God. He's, he he called me back. He called me after some days. He, I mean, he saw me in another person's shop. He called me that I should come back to his shop. I said, what is happening? He took my hand and kissed my hand. Praise God. And said, I should come to the shop. I said, for what? He said, I have something to give you in my shop. Praise God. I went to his shop. He gave me a watch. And he gave me something else. Praise God. And he told me that the, other, the day you entered my shop, I don't know you, but that day, he said, he sold more than $3,500 that day alone. That he had never sold something like that before. That he has been looking for me, but he does not have my number. Praise God. That's why I say, hey, praise God. <laughs> praise God. I say, hey, I could have, I could have just <laughs> stayed at home. Praise God. But I want to tell you that blessings can smell. Look at, let's, let's see what the Bible says here. In Isaiah chapter 61 verse 7. The Bible says, for your shame you shall have double. Oh my God. God says, I am going to give you double for your trouble. I don't know if that is somebody here that is in the spirit. I said, is there is somebody, is there anyone here that is in the spirit? I just want to do to give a clap of them to Jesus Christ. This is the word of God. It's not about me. It's not about God. I can't do anything. He can do all things. Never you look at me, I may disappoint you. Look at him. He cannot disappoint you. And his word can never return void. Praise God. He said, for your shame. For people have messed you up. They have called your sons of names. They have rejected you. The enemy has fought you so much. And I see you have been staggering.
brethren, but you have been in me. You have never departed from me. One thing you have to know is this. For your shame, you shall have double. Oh my God, I say you're going to have double. If you are listening online, you will have double. For that is the word of God. Is there any wound? God is going to heal you double. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. There are some wounds that when the wound goes, you see the scar. And there are some wounds when you when the wound goes, you cannot trace any scar. Praise God, that is the perfect wound. The perfect healing, praise God. For you are shame, ye shall have double. And for confusion, they shall rejoice in their portion. Therefore, in their land, they shall possess the double. And I want you to claim this. God say you shall possess double. That restoration is your portion. He is not only restoring you. He is going to give you double. And you shall now have extra to begin to give to people. I say, if you believe what I'm saying, can you shout hallelujah? I say, can you shout hallelujah? Oh, yakalima kaskalaba. That is the word of God. And he said, the everlasting joy shall be unto them that know him. Unto them that serve him. Unto them that honor him. God said, the other day, say, I honor whoever that honors me. For you to come here in the presence of God. And for you to listen online. God said that he is going to honor you. Not only honoring you. He said for your shame. For what you have gone through. He said I am going to restore you double. Oh yakalapakatapa. Let somebody give God praise. He said, when I finish with you, when I finish with you, you are going to start praising me. Can somebody raise his hands and begin to praise God? Yes, I am running off. Yes, it's time for prayers. It's time for prayers. But I want us to give God praise. I want you to open your mouth and begin to glorify the name of the almighty God. Yes, 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 yes. I want us to praise God. Whatever anyone is doing, please, I want us to praise God. I want us to praise God. We are going to praise God with tambourines. With tambourines. We're going to praise God with instrument of music. I want you to open your mouth and begin to praise him. The Bible says that he that has breath, let him praise the Lord. Can somebody open his mouth and begin to praise him? Can we open your mouth and begin to thank God begin to thank him because something great is about to happen yes I say yes faith is calling that thing that is not in existence yes I say something is going to happen in your life you are going to see restoration from God the Bible says that every good and perfect gifts come from heaven I say can somebody press him press down press down something that is going on in the spirit realm there is abundance of restoration that is Oh my God. Oh Lord Jesus Christ. I want somebody who is in the spirit. To begin to praise the almighty God. He said great God that's all I know. Oh yeah 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 yeah. I say God is a great God. He is a great God. That is all. Yes, everything in me is telling me that my God is a great God. His word will never return void. God says, as for you are shame. Because the enemy has put you to shame. He said, I'm going to give you double portion. I am not going to give you a single portion. But I'm going to give you double portion. And if that is anything, you begin to call. Yes, they call that Elisha called. Elisha reached at the sea. And he began to say, where is the God of Elijah? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. God is a great God. God is a wonderful God. He is the mighty Jehovah. He is the great King. I want somebody to worship him. Before we enter into any prayers here, I want us to worship God. Because today is day of restoration. Day of physical restoration. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yes. Yes. Yes, yes. Oh, my God. I read somewhere in the Bible. The Bible said we should pray, praise Him with a loud voice. We should praise God with tambourines. Can somebody praise God with a loud voice? 
Hey, Glorify me. You are going to praise me. 
I want somebody here to begin to pray and say, God, open the doors of my lips. Let this money never depart from me. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Yes, I said begin to pray. This money will never depart from you. Yes, I said pray. Let the doors of your lips be open. Which means things that will make you to say, God, you are a wonderful God. God, you are a great God. Those things begin to work in your life. Yes. Testimonies will be your portion. Testimonies will be your portion. God says for your sin, I am going to give you double portion. That is the word of God. Can somebody pray that let it be established in my life? Let there be testimonies. I will testify of the goodness of God. God said he will restore me all the years that the enemy has wounded me. God said I will heal your wounds. When God heals your wounds, yes, the doors of your lips will be open to glorify his name. I want somebody, I don't know the areas that you have been looking for restoration. I'm going to open the doors of your lips. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know, I don't know what has gone wrong in your life or in your expectation. I want you to begin to pray and say, God, you said that you will make it up. You say you will make it up. Let it come down. You are the power of my restoration. You are the one that restores. I don't know that sickness that has been torturing you. I say, commit it in the hand of God. I say, God, tonight, tonight is my night. Hey, can somebody pray that prayer? That tonight is my night. I will never leave you until I see physically, until I begin to smell blessings. I say, somebody say that. Yes, somebody pray that prayer. Yes, Jacob says, I will never leave you. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yes. 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 Let the windows of heaven be opened. Let the floodgates of heaven be opened. Let it rain. Yes. 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 Mm. Praise God. Praise the Almighty God. There is a prayer I told people to pray. That was on the seventh day of this restoration prayers. And that prayer goes this way. I told people to pray that your identity has to be changed. Praise God. Your identity has to be changed for good. That ugly identity you can't carry it about. Praise God. It happened to Jacob. That was how we know. Jacob saw the angel. He was wrestling with the angels. Which means he was wrestling with God because they are from God. Praise God. Do you know what? He was looking for blessings. But they bless in heaven. There is identity. And that identity belongs to Jacob. In heaven. That is called the identity of Israel. So the name of Jacob in heaven is what? Israel. But Jacob has been struggling here on earth with the name Jacob. And at the time, the angels asked him, you said you want blessing. What is that your identity? Because he wants to explore heaven. Do not the rightful identity for this man. Let me tell you, God said he, he will bless you. Which means you are a child of blessing. Your DNA says that you are a child of blessing. Praise God. And he asked Jacob, he said, Jacob, what's your identity? Jacob says, my identity is Jacob. He said, no, that identity has to be changed. Because I see in heaven that the identity that you have in heaven is Israel. There are blessings upon blessings that have been lavished on Israel. I want you now, the identity has to be changed. I said for you not to claim it. Your identity got to change. Something got to be shifted in the spirit realm. And he called himself from today. Your name is Israel. 
I just want somebody to claim it. I say your name is Israel. The Bible said that he that blesses Israel is blessed. Oh, he that blesses you is blessed. Yes, the name Israel is a blessed name. And now the name of Jacob was changed. That is why you begin to see that Jacob was blessed beyond his imagination. I want you to begin to pray. My true identity as a favored child, my true DNA as the one that carried the image of God, as a blessed man, as a blessed woman, I receive it today. Open your mouth and begin to pray. I receive it today. I am a favored child. I am wonderfully made. I am fearfully made. God has blessed me. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Hey, declare that your identity is changed. My identity is changed from favor because I am a favored child in heaven. Because my identity in heaven says that I am a favored child, that I am wonderfully made by God, that I am the apple of God's eye. That is my identity. And today I claim my identity. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. Your identity is a child of health. The Bible says, I wish above all that you prosper in health, which means your identity, your identity above all, above all is health, prosperity in health. I want you to begin to pray and say, God, every area that the enemy has done in my health, from today, you my health, I call you back. You my health, I call you back. Health is your identity. Prosperity is your identity. Favor is your identity. I want you to begin to call them back. Restoration is your identity. Because God said, I will restore you. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Ma pasekende bala bala ma. Ma poskendele brakandele mo. Li ma katapa katapa. Hey, hey, hey. I said, let somebody, let somebody switch in the switch into the spirit realm. Switch in the spirit realm and begin to release. Ay, 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 Begin to release your blessings. Release your blessings. Your restoration. Tell yourself, I am restored. I am restored. My heart is restored in the name of Jesus. My family is restored. My marriage is restored. My wealth is restored. My spiritual life is restored. My dream life is restored. My future is restored. Yes, because I'm a child of God. Hey, I said, pray. Yes, yes. Yes, pray. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let somebody pray. Let somebody pray. Yes, by the power in the name of Jesus. Everything that belongs to me. Everything that belongs to me. Ah, I command you to come down. I said pray that prayer. God spoke to Jeremiah. He said before you were formed. I know you. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Which means God knows everyone here. Before you were formed. You have ability. Before you were formed. God has destined you as a child of success. It is the enemy that has stolen your success. I want you to begin to look into heaven and begin to bring down your identity. God said to Jeremiah, I know you right from your mother's womb. Ah, I called you Jeremiah. I know you by name. That means you have a name in heaven. Yes, that name has to come down here on earth. Oh, yeah, pala, 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 pala. And he said, I made you. I made you international prophet. That is the name Jeremiah. He's an international prophet. Yes, I said, begin to pray. Anything that belongs to you. Yes, 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 yes. Most surely come back to you. The powers of darkness can never stop it. The powers of the enemies can never stop it. The powers of the wicked ones can never stop it. By the power in the name of Jesus. I say pray. Yes, yes. Anything that belongs to your family, to your children. That 
job that job they thought that you can't get i said by the power in the name of jesus you will celebrate it yes yes that position you are now that is not the position in heaven for you god has your position your position is a mighty man oh yeah 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 your position is a favored man i said begin to claim that your position from above can somebody open your mouth and pray and say i claim from above everything that belongs to me anywhere it is being diverted i bring them back because the enemy diverted the name of israel and begin to reflect jacob in his name anywhere my true name my true identity is being diverted it's been intercepted i call it back i call it back by fire by fire by fire by fire i said call it back call it back by fire yes 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 oh yeah 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 i said let somebody pray everything is stolen from me i declare restoration because that is the will of god he said he will give me double ah i said put the bible put the bible to the enemy god said he will give me double for my shame ah the enemy you have no authority to put me to shame you have no authority to bring shame in my life god said he will give me double and i stand upon the word of god to claim that double that double portion double portion of restoration i receive it i receive it i receive it oh yeah 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 I said, let somebody meet business and pray. Let somebody meet business and pray. By the power in the name of Jesus. Anything that belongs to me. Anything that belongs to me. I receive them back. Anything they diverted. I bring them back to me. Every of my day. Every of my goodness. Anything that is in my body. In my family. In my spiritual life. That the enemy has taken away. Anything in my health. That the enemy has taken away. I bring it back. By the power in the name of Jesus. I command it down. I command it back. I command it back. I receive it. I receive it. I said, pray, 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 pray. Be in the spirit. Be in the spirit. Pray. Receive them back. Receive them back. In the name of Jesus. God said, I will restore. I will restore all the years that the canker worms and caterpillars, all the years the palmer worms have eaten. God said, I will restore all those things locals have taken from you your joy your happiness your peace ah, your confidence i said pray they are back god them to existence that is what faith can do by the power in the name of jesus all those things that belong to me all those good packages that belong to me i call them down in the limelight i call them down in my life i got them down in my family hey yes operation no escape none of my blessings shall escape i regain all my blessings i say regain your blessings call it back call it back call your blessings back regain it regain it regain it you my blessings i receive you back you my helpers you my helpers anywhere you have been cut off yes i connect you again i connect you again i connect you again in the name of jesus yes from today people begin to see the glory of god upon my life in the name of jesus they will know that i serve god i will never be put to shame shame is not my portion because god said he will compensate he will compensate you by shame god said he will compensate therefore shame is not my portion hey pray yes 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 by the power in the name of jesus yes 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 recovery recovery the bible says go you shall overtake and you shall recover i want somebody to push more you shall overtake and you shall recover god said i will give back to you hold on the promises of god yes you will receive it back you receive back all the lost years i said take it take them back take them back i take them back anything i have lost by the power 
In the name of Jesus, I receive that book. Hey. Yeah, 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 yeah. That abundance of blessings, abundance of rain that is sounding in the spirit. I call them power. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I call them power by fire, by fire, by fire, by fire. Yes, I call them down by the power in the name of Jesus. Yes, yes, yes. Ah, yeah, 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 yes. I say you are close will be turned to ground. Yes, Galapos Seketelepa, Makali Pakas Kantalaba Zende. Oh, yeah, 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 let somebody switch in the spirit right now. I just want somebody just with your tongues. Yes, tongues, tongues of spirits. Yes, I say begin to blow the tongues. Prokos kata pokata. Yes, when you begin to blow tongues, the enemy is confused. I want somebody to confuse the enemy. Yes, 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 by blowing in tongues. Makos kali pakata pa. Let's carry my hand by a kadabo. Elia my hand by kos konto pakata pa. Prokoli kata papa. Hey, hey, yes, kali kene nene. Yes, 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 yes. I say somebody switch in the spirit. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Malekes keni malabala balaba. Lebrokos kandala baba. Maketeke. Hey, lebomba kate. Sekeri li kaliaba. Hey, brokos kalaba. Lekeri bolu bolu bolu. Yes, 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 yes. I say something is going on in the spirit realm. I say something is going on. I can hear the joyful noise in the spirit realm. I say the door is open. The door is open. The door is open. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. The door is open. The heavens are open. The heavens are open. I say claim it. I say claim your blessings. Claim your restoration. Something is going on here. I see heavens open. Ah, don't be in flesh. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. The heaven is open. The heaven is open. Yes. 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 My trophy is at last I lay down. I will cling to the old rugged cross and exchange it someday for a crown. So I cherish the old rugged cross. See my draw is at last. Can somebody sing that song and be in the spirit? I see the heaven opened. I see the heaven opened and here is filled with the angels of God. Oh, here is filled with the angels of God sharing things. Sharing things unto people. Oh yeah, Kala Yes. Something is going on. Something is going on. The power of God is here. 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 I just want you to sing that song. I want to pray. I want you to sing that song and the spirit. So I tell you the old rock and cross. Take my trophies at last. I let down. Yes, I will cling on to the old rock and cross. Yeah, 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 Can somebody be in the 
spirit kalaboya kandarabo so i just read the old okay he might true i say some people your cross is torn to a crown oya kalaposta ni makadabo to the old Do you know what you have been struggling for a long time now? God said the tower has come. Something is going on. The lion of the tribe of Judah, I am coming for Shakana. Yes, I say, Son of Judah, something is going on. I see restoration. I say, I said receive, receive. I said be in the spirit. Don't look, don't watch. Just be in the spirit. Something is going. Somebody is receiving and you are looking. I said be in the spirit and receive. Oh yeah 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 I said the fountain is broken. Ah! The mighty of God is so much here. I said the mighty is so much here. The mighty of God is so much here. Yes, 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 yes. I said I see the power of the Holy Ghost. I said I see the power of the Holy Ghost. I said I see the power. I see the power. I see the power. I said take it. 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 Take it. Take it. Take it. Oh! Pala 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 pa. Malaka pa 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 pa. I see smoke in this place. I see smoke. I see smoke in this place. I see thick smoke. Something is going on. Ay 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 ay. I say receive the power. Receive your healing. Receive the restoration. I say take it. I say take it. I say take it. Fire. Yes. Yes. Fire, 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 fire of restoration, fire of restoration, fire of restoration. I said, take it. 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 Yes, the fire of restoration. The fire is burning. The fire is burning. I said, receive it. I said, receive it. Receive it by fire, by fire, by fire, by fire, by fire. Wow! Let the chain be broken. Let every chain be broken. It is 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 broken by fire. By fire. By fire. By fire. I said the chain is broken. Oh yeah 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 yeah. Yes. 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 I say keep quiet everybody. I just need this the instruments. Yes. 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 By the power in the name of Jesus. By the anointing from the third heaven. By the anointing of God. Let the fire 
the fire of blessings let the fire of restoration let it pour I say receive it receive it receive it receive it take it yes 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 the power of God is moving it's moving like a magnet the power of God is moving like a magnet I say take it I say take it take it yes 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 I am hearing healing I am hearing healing restoration I am hearing healing 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 yes 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 I say open your hand open your hand and receive receive the power receive the power healing receive a restoration I say receive it I say take it I say receive it receive it by fire receive it by fire every power that have been bringing sickness in your life touch fire 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 yes fire 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 the holy ghost yes yeah 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 god said i will give you double portion receive a double portion i shall receive yes he touched me he touched me he touched me he touched me god is touching someone god is touching people here yes 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 something something happened something happened yes 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 this is not your portion the touch of god the touch of god can never allow virus to be a person the magicians of fire and see the hand of God. The finger of God is in this place. The finger of God is on this place. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You can never be left. You can never be bypassed. I just want you to raise your hands and ask God, I need a touch. I need a touch that I have never seen before. I know he touched me and makes me he touched me he touched me I know that joy shall free my soul Somebody went up to heaven. The Bible says every good and perfect gift comes from above. No one could receive anything except from heaven. I just want to sp spread your hand unto heaven as you sing this song. Let this restoration, God is completing something in your life. Because Jesus says to that man that came back to him, He said, Go for you and made whole. God is making it whole in your life. Oh, Yakalapo Sakayabana. Yes, Sabdi. I know. Song. Go ahead with that song. Sing that song with all your heart. That's a very powerful song. He touched me. The finger of God that cannot be insulted.
don't know any chain that is remaining in your life any chain that is remaining has to be broken by the reason of the anointing because the Bible says that the yoke is broken by the reason of the oil the yoke is broken just raise your hands and tell God every chain in my life is broken I am good to go every chain is broken every chain is broken to break every chain to break every chain to break every chain there is power in the name of Jesus there is power in the name of Jesus to break every chain to break every chain to break every chain are you ready are you ready I say if there is any chain remaining by the power in the name of Jesus is broken now can you sing this song in a louder voice and say there is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus to break every chain, to break every chain, to break every chain. Does anybody believe in the name of Jesus here? Oh my God, praise God. I don't, I don't know, there's supposed to be a reaction that, that comes from our soul and spirit whenever we are singing that song. Because the name of Jesus is greater than every other name. Oh, Makalipakos Kalapa. The Bible said every knee must bow and every tongue must confess that Jesus is the Lord. And the Bible says, whatever you ask in the name of Jesus, you will receive it. There is power. I said there is power. There is power. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. Hey, I said sing that song. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. To break every chain, to break every chain, to break every chain. Sickness, 
Send of coronavirus. Send of COVID-19. You are broken. Hey. Yes. That chain of sickness is broken. Hey. To break every chain. To break every chain. To break every chain. I see the chain broken. I see the chain falling. I see the chain falling. I see the chain. That chain of sickness is broken. Coronavirus is not your portion. It's not my portion. to sing that song I want to hear that song calling upon God with us in the presence of God that is anointed in the presence of the Lord that is anointed that heavy heart cannot go back with you yes yes that is somebody that has a heavy heart something is bothering you even as this prayer is going on, the thing is still bothering you. Ah, receive the power. Yes, I pray for thoughts. Yes, yes, yes. I said, send. Yes, send. Something is going on now. I said, God is going to look at whoever. Yes, I said, yes, anywhere you are. Anywhere you are, you that have your heart. You have your heart, touch fire. You have your heart, touch fire. You have your heart, touch fire. Catch 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 fire. Yes. 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 Ah! Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. Yes. 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 Let somebody sing, Emmanuel. Yes. Yes. Emmanuel, 
Jesus, I say you are loose. You are loose by fire. You are loose by fire. I say you are loose. 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 Anyone in captivity? Anyone in captivity? I say be lost. Be lost. Be lost. Be lost. Be lost. By fire. By fire. By fire. Receive your blimpments. I say receive your restoration. I said double restoration, double restoration, double restoration. I said receive it. I said receive it. I said take it, take it, take it, take it, take it. I am restored. Somebody should shout. I am restored. I said shouting, shouting seven times. I am restored. 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 Bigger than all my problems. Bigger than everything. Lord is bigger than every mountain. I can cannot see. Bigger than all my problems. Hey, hey, hey. I am so happy because so many things have been restored. <laughs> bigger than all my problems. Oh, it's bigger than everything. Oh, not bigger than every mountain. Joy. Sing this song. Sing this song. Your sorrows are turned to joy. Because God is bigger than everything. I told you that the mercy of God is greater than your mistakes. Ah. Hey, hey.
praise and glory because he has done great and mighty things. Praise God. So we are saying that do not be tired of worshiping with us. No matter the time, God can bless you at any time. And I know he has blessed you in Jesus' name. So if you have offering to give, if you are worshiping online, you can still give. Praise God. You can still give. You can go to www.rockofvictory.ca slash give. You click on it, it will take you to where you will give. And if you want to give through Interact Transfer, you go to Rock of Victory Ministries can at gmail.com or rove me give at gmail.com. God loves a cheerful giver. That's teaching. I was teaching people last time. I said, one thing is this there is reward and there is blessing. Reward is so great. And the Bible says, when you give unto God, He rewards you. Praise God. When you give to people, help the poor, God blesses you. When you give to God, He rewards. That is the word of God. So wait for your reward. In Jesus' name. I just want to pray for you with that offering or whatever you want, you wish to give. May God whom we serve, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, who promised abundance and has given us that abundance, who promised compensation of double portion of whatever the enemy has taken away from us. And I decree that you are part of it. You are a beneficiary in the name of Jesus. Anywhere or anything you have given, may God replenish your pocket. And the Bible says he will replenish in seven folds because he is God. From today, your pocket is replenished in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise God. I want to tell you that you that is watching with us online, we are going to come back again on Sunday. And the time for Sunday is 10 a.m. And remember, Sunday is Thanksgiving. Anytime you finish fasting, the Bible says, do not be anxious for nothing. In everything, by prayers and supplication, let your request, and through thanksgiving, let your request be known unto God in every ten prayers. Make your petition. And now add thanksgiving at the end. Your request will be known unto God. So I want to tell you that Sunday is our thanksgiving. And even if you do not have anything to give, your heart of gratefulness, of gratitude for what God has Praise God. So we want you to join us that day. Even if you are not here present, join us wherever you are on that Thanksgiving. It's going to be great. We are going to make our time not to ask anything, but to give God thanks. Think about this Corona 19. This Corona 19. Think about the COVID-19. This coronavirus. But you have been alive. You are breathing in and out. It is not you, by your smartness or the protection you are observing, but it is the will of God that you should be alive. So there is every need for you and I to give God the glory. Thank you for worshiping with us. See you on Sunday at 10. God bless you.